Now, when they get as far as a bird flu summit, and they're taking this very seriously, you must start realizing that this is the one that they've picked to roll out next. Now, during this summit in Washington, D.C. in October, they will discuss mass fatality management planning. We're also being told the death rate during the pandemic would be somewhere between 25 and 50 percent. Quite ambitious. So they must really be having Gates work those extra hours and clock in extra time so they can make this thing as deadly as possible. Now, the interesting thing here is on the list of topics for the summit, besides the fact that we should be like raising our eyebrows at number one, which is mass fatality management planning. You know, if only there was a collection of plastic coffins that could handle more than one body at a time stored somewhere for use. Maybe, maybe that would help, you know, in mass fatality planning. So how are we going to deal with the bodies and the fallouts and the, you know, like the stories they told you of people dropping dead in the streets that we're still looking for facts on, those kind of things. But there's a couple of other points. I'll read them all for you and then we'll come back to the important ones. Number two, surveillance and data management. Three, preparing community strategies. Four, local partnership and participation. Five, delivery of vaccine and antiviral medication. Six, medical countermeasures. Seven, socioeconomic impact on poultry and livestock industries. Eight, benefit risk assessment of public health industry and regulatory perspectives. Nine, prevention, education, efforts and risk communication. Uh, 10, command control and management. 11, emergency response management. 12, business-based planning. 13, school-based planning. And finally, community-based planning. So, out of these, there's a couple that should jump out at you immediately that they're focusing on. Besides mass fatality, surveillance and data management. Surveillance. They're going to surveil us. It'll become a surveillance world, not just a surveillance state, and data management, i.e. control of what you can and can't say on social media and repercussions tied to that. Uh, another one that jumps out at me is delivery of vaccine and antiviral medication, and that everyone will have to do it. And again, like last time, you'll be shamed if you don't and told that you're killing everyone else and so on and so on. So the whole vaccine antiviral medication drive, and they're already developing these and starting to use them on the human population. Medical countermeasures. That almost sounds like a, a military concept. You know, apply countermeasures. Medical countermeasures. Socioeconomic impact on poultry and livestock industries may be an excuse to get rid of even more livestock and stop more farms from producing food or meat or eggs or chicken or anything like that for further control which they've already been working on for a while command control and management self-explanatory there and this is the actual goal here emergency response management how quickly they're going to respond and lock everyone down and make sure they're in charge. School-based planning, as in making sure they get to your kids and they get them indoctrinated as quickly as possible. They are really learning from their mistakes from their first test run and applying all those mistakes to this next one that is going to be their win in their minds when they roll this out. And this is at the door. It's coming really soon to a place near you. Should we be worried? No, because you know what else is coming really soon? Jesus Christ.